In a world where people want to know stuff, one woman will awkwardly lead the way. But first, she has to... Stop memorizing every line of my scripts. Which has nothing to do with the... what? What did I say? In theaters this fall. Here's the truth. As a content creator, working smarter, not harder has never been my strength. It doesn't matter how many times I tell myself to keep it simple, stupid. I am, for better or worse, a creature of habit. But in the production world, bad habits waste a ridiculous amount of time, money, and sanity. I actually did the math recently, and as you can see from this totally made-up pie chart, this error in judgment has been costly. And the fix? One very simple tweet to my workflow. A teleprompter! As it turns out, memorizing entire scripts line by line is not the most efficient way of working, especially when you have the short-term memory of a goldfish. Wait, what did I come in here for? So I did something kind of bold for me. I went right to the recommended source for the perfect solution. Enter Prompter People, a brand whose mission is to create teleprompters for every need and every budget. And no, I have not been paid to say that, but I did promise to give them an honest review. And in exchange for my opinion, I get to keep this. Yes, I am now the proud owner of a PocketQ V2 teleprompter by Prompter People. I'm literally reading from it right now. Can you tell? Bet you can't. So this particular model is really cool and it works seamlessly with my camera setup. I film with a Sony a7 IV mirrorless camera with two primary lenses, one which is noticeably bigger than the other. So my initial concern was that it might not fit and I am so happy to be wrong about that. It fits great. Okay, let's first talk about the glass on this beauty. So I am no glass expert, but I do have eyes and 6535 beam splitter glass is really nice glass. It reflects 35 percent of the monitor image back to the viewer, which gives you more clarity and brightness and a much easier reading experience. But how do you get that text to scroll? You're going to need an app for that. Now, if you have a tablet or smartphone model, this software is not free. But if you have a monitor model, it is free. It comes with a USB-C, USB dongle, plus a license to download. The app that Prompter People supports is called Telescroll, and I'm using that in combination with a shuttle queue. The shuttle queue basically functions as a remote controller, so you can control the speed of the scrolling, you can go backwards, forwards, start it, stop it, and it's just a simple turn of a knob. One of the nicer features that sets Prompter People apart from other teleprompter manufacturers is how modular everything is. You're not stuck with a single configuration. You can use your smartphone to film with this or use it as the display screen for your scripts. And all Pocket Q V2 models include an L bracket, so you can actually shoot in both portrait and landscape, which is perfect if you're a content creator on Instagram or TikTok or even YouTube. Now, I typically film with a mirrorless camera, so this setup would probably not be very useful for me, but if you film primarily on a smartphone, all you gotta do is swap out a couple parts and you're good to go. And if you go on Prompter People's website, you'll see the option to purchase either the smartphone model or the monitor model. Now, if you're looking to upgrade the base model of the Pocket Cube, Prompter People offers plenty of accessories that you can add on. The freestanding kit is probably my favorite because I'm not exclusively filming from a single location all the time. So being able to mount my camera and tripod separately from the teleprompter saves a lot of time with assembly. You can just set it and forget it until you need it for something like a talking head video. The freestanding kit comes with a light stand with a weight capacity of about 20 pounds. It also comes with a very nice carrying case. This is likely to be the best option if you're working with larger cameras or longer lenses or just need a more portable solution if you travel a lot. You can also upgrade with a talent monitor as well as a tab grabber pro which is designed to fit iPads, tablets, and foldable smartphones. Did I mention you don't need any tools to set this up? Because let me tell you as someone that is not handy at all and is in fact extremely prone to hurting myself when I try that's a prompter people perk that I greatly appreciate. This was not difficult to assemble. As an added bonus to everything else mentioned, these kits are pretty affordable. Pricing for the Pocket Q V2 kits range from $249 to $579. Now, they're not the cheapest on the market, but the value of a quality product like this is worth the investment, especially if it's going to be a major part of your production workflow. Tons of bang for your buck here. So if you're a content creator looking for one thing to drastically improve the efficiency of your workflow, the value of a really solid television 
teleprompter cannot be overstated. Let's just look at the benefits here. Improved script delivery, enhanced eye contact, consistent pacing, reduced memorization, reduced anxiety, and faster preparation. Prompter People really delivers on all fronts. So if you are interested in browsing the full range of their products, you can find them at prompterpeople.com. I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Tell them Amy from Awkward Anthems sent you. And if you work in the production field, tell me in the comments what single piece of equipment or a software application or service has been a game changer for your workflow. I would love to hear about it. And until next time, awkward and out.